Morning everyone. I'm not sure if you can um, actually see this, but I'm in the process of doing another sewing table. And um, I haven't shared this one because um, I actually was, I was absolutely wide awake last night. So I worked till early hours this morning doing it. And um, so the, I couldn't film it or anything like that. I just needed something to do. So I thought, oh, well, if you wanted to do a, um, another table, then, uh, you know, sit and do one. Uh, pass the time away. I didn't actually get tired. I did go to bed, but I didn't actually get tired. And um, and then I was walking again this morning with my daughter. Just let me know she was boarding a flight. She was in the process of boarding a flight to Vietnam to see a friend of hers before she moves on to her uh, another destination. So um, otherwise I'd still be in Nodiland right now because I did eventually get back to sleep. Not get to sleep, should I say. But like I say, <coughs> excuse me. What I've done with this, um, I've used a reel. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and that's just off a, um, it's only a piece of chipboard off a, uh, another, um, I think it was a material reel. The top is also from a big, um, it was ribbon reel. And then I, to that I've attached a um, piece of four millimetre chipboard because I wanted it nice and secure. It's going to have a little bit of weight on it. Um, I then painted it all when I put it all, it glued it all together. I made some of these, which um, I'll show you what they are. You wrap them around your little boards. Now that needs, I've done that upside down like a silly fool, but I'll paint that. So you make yourself little chipboard strips. And then you wrap your material around um, to stack. I made these two little units just out of chipboard painted them um, and now I'm going to fill them I put a little hook on made the little hook I don't know if you can see that um, hair, hairdressers they have lots of combs and scissors and things like that but sewing uh, machinists they also have a lot of scissors and they need to make sure they've got the right ones so I have two or three pair here now I've got a broken pair here but I'm not going to waste them so I'm going to sit those there and, and just like that. So no one knows they're broken then, do they? Um, we need a bit of bling, so I've put some diamantion spools. I'm going to put some tiny spools here. I've got a selection of spools there. A little pot here, which I'm going to paint up and put some bits in. I've made the knitting needles. Um, this lace was gorgeous. It's a vintage lace, but I thought, oh yeah, we'll put it that like it's cutting. So I've added that like it's cutting. This one's made out of, um, you know, your finger dob, finger dobber. So it already had the sponge on it, so just covered it in some um, fluffy string. Um, the lamp, put the lamp in like I made, said I needed a lamp for a project. Um, although it was going to be for the table, it wasn't going to be for this one, but I've used it anyway. And then some more little reels there. And I'm just going to fill the table in. I'm going to, um, I have got some somewhere and I can't find it. I've got a tape measure. You know, like one of the, like one of the small reels at the back. I've got one of those in. Um, I, I've just, I've seen it recently and can't find it. It should have been on there. But I've probably taken it off and done something with it. Probably. Uh, and then underneath, like I say, I'm going to be stacking things underneath. Um, I'm gonna, this pot's going to have more knitting needles in under there. And yeah, so it's coming along nicely. Um, and I will share that with you when it's finished. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now. Hi everyone, right I've finished my sewing table, the only thing I've got to put on really is the tape measure when I can find it. I know I've got it, it's a little ribbon of a tape measure and when I find it I will put it um, over the 
trimmings here but i'm just going to take you through it um i know this is a little bit small for the table but it's the only one i had several of these and it's the biggest one of the ones i had so i've used it anyway um i mean we i play around with giant buttons so why can't this um whoever's using this table <laughs> not that it's real come on folks um but yeah um, I've made a, done a little hat stand, put a little hat on it with a, a little ribbon and flower, uh, some glasses. Just let that focus. A beautiful beaded trim around the edge. Some buttons, lots of uh, reels. Done a little flower, a, a jug and bowl and some flowers. And um, just lots of trimmings here, there and everywhere. Some little sweets in the back if she gets a little bit uh, hungry. I do love the scissors cutting the material. Um, like I say, hanging the scissors up. Lots of laces and fabrics and trims. I did put the scissors there. They were broken scissors and I've just tucked them underneath. Um, it just makes it look like it's getting used. And then underneath, um, I'm just going to pick this up. It, it's quite heavy, but underneath, lots of reels and, you know, uh, material bolts and things like that. Needles in there, uh, like um, knitting needles, etc. Different trims, some more fabric bits in the back, you see there. So, um, I finished my table, uh, sewing table. Um, and if I can't find the tape measure, then it's tough. <laughs> but it is going up for sale. And there's a lot of things gone on it, a lot of miniatures, and miniatures are not cheap. So I, I am putting this in the shop for sale. And I've sold every one that I've ever made. And if you're interested, grab it while you can, because when it's gone, it's gone. I don't make them very often. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.